Pyrolithin A is a unique molecule that's derived from elagitannins, which are found in pomegranates and, and certain berries and certain nuts. And I'll, I'll talk about those compounds in more, more detail in a moment. There was a 2016 study published in Nature Medicine looking at this first-in-class natural phenolic compound called Pyrolithin A that stimulated mitophagy in a preclinical model and improved muscle function as well as exercise capacity in two different rodent models. UA also increased muscle strength in C. elegans. This is a preclinical paradigm of aging. And urolithin A uh, it might sound unfamiliar to you, but you, you've probably uh, been exposed to it quite a bit if you eat a healthy diet that contains uh, nuts, uh, pomegranates, uh, berries, and it's a metabolite of these large elagitannins. And these are uh, tannins that we really can't uh, absorb because they're just so large. But intestinal bacteria metabolize them into small, highly absorbable derivatives called urolithins. And urolithins are believed to mediate uh, many of the widely acclaimed health benefits of pomegranates. So urolithins have great absorption. Uh, they can reach very high micromolar levels in human plasma. They can also cross the blood-brain barrier. But not everybody can synthesize urolithins from elagitannins because of differences in the microbiome. Only certain types of bacteria can make this conversion, which makes the isolated urolithin A uh, as, a, as an orally uh, available form quite attractive. And urolithin A has been studied uh, as an isolated substance, and it is effective orally. So this is one study in which rats received urolithin A for six to eight months, and they exhibited increased muscle strength, um, much greater than controls, with a 9% increase in grip strength, as well as a significant increase in voluntary physical activity. And the study also showed a increase in endurance in elderly animals receiving UA compared to controls, and a 65 percent increase in running capacity in young animals. So these findings were uh, quite compelling. In the first human clinical trial published last June in Nature Medicine, uh, four weeks of urolithin A supplementation in healthy sedentary elderly subjects, and the doses were 500 and 1,000 milligrams per day. Uh, this, the study showed that this dose was not only safe and orally bioavailable, uh, but effective in increasing mitochondrial gene expression in skeletal muscle and improving mitochondrial biomarker profiles. So far, I've described some of the ways in which you can support mitochondrial renewal. I mentioned exercise caloric restriction as promoters of mitochondrial biogenesis. Uh, other ways to support mitochondrial biogenesis, remember that this is the formation of new mitochondria. Elevating adiponectin levels, this is a, this is a hormone that controls uh, insulin sensitivity and uh, as well as fat metabolism. Elevating adiponectin uh, can certainly help with this as well, but exercise and caloric restriction should help elevate that hormone. Uh, resveratrol, I did mention, uh, berberine is also uh, implicated in, in supporting mitochondrial biogenesis, as is PQQ, pyroloquinoline quinone. This is a, a B vitamin-like substance that acts as a uh, redox cycling agent. It's, a, it's sort of like an antioxidant uh, with B vitamin-like properties um, oh, that's, that's one way in which you can promote this process. But keep in mind, this is only one part of the puzzle. Exercise and caloric restriction also help with mitophagy, which removes the old mitochondria. And urolithin A uh, is one of uh, a very small number of small molecules that have been studied with respect to, to mitophagy. And it's important to keep in mind that individual components of the, the mitochondria itself may also be useful, like coenzyme Q10, uh, provides one of the components of the electron transport chain, and adenosylcobalamin has been studied as a way of supporting mitochondrial function as a cofactor that exists within uh, the mitochondria. So B12 plays a big role in energy homeostasis and muscle health, and the form of B12 that predominates in the mitochondria and is the major coenzyme form within that organelle is adenosylcobalamin, and there is uh, some research to support its role in bioenergetics and, and muscle health. So to summarize, mitochondrial renewal is a fundamental driver of energy production, uh, muscle health, and overall wellness. 
The updated paradigm of mitochondrial function involves the renewal of, of these organelles. And the renewal process is a two-part process, mitochondrial biogenesis plus mitophagy. And if both are functioning optimally, uh, your mitochondrial networks should be healthy. The major mechanism of action of things that we already know uh, support healthy aging, like exercise, caloric restriction, resveratrol. Uh, one of their major mechanisms is support for these mitochondrial um, dynamics, so renewing mitochondria, major mechanism of action. Urolithin A is a first-in-class mitophagy modulator, so this is one of the few small molecules isolated from food, at least um, you know, as a derivative of, of tannins from uh, certain foods that supports cellular energy and muscle health. 